again everyone, my name is Rosehead79 and welcome to a game called Tinker Island. I saw this in the app store and I, I obviously thought it looked pretty dang awesome, so I decided to download it and try it out in a video. I've never heard of it or played it before, so this is all new to me. It was shipwrecked on a deserted island, you must find a way to escape, but first just try to survive. Robert Secretary, okay. I just drag him up there. Start exploring the beach you landed on. Oh, these are the people I have. Oh, she's an engineer. Cool. A reporter. That's not very useful on an island, honestly. Okay, look, the beach sand. Oh, cool, okay. Look, the beach sands are crawling with crabs. You get crabs. <laughs> Animals are <laughs> and some plants provide food. Food is a valuable resource needed to explore the island. Okay. Uh, okay. That's cool. There were crabs on the beach. Catch some for lunch. Oh, so he needs some food? Why can't I do that? Oh! I put them on the crab. For some reason. Okay. Now what? <laughs> oh, were they hunting? Oh, they were hunting for crabs. Okay. While foraging for crabs, you notice parts of the coast that are still unexplored. You find coast. <laughs> tap the beach card to open the map, then tap the coast to select it. Fine. Fine, whatever. Ooh. Check out the coast. Alright. Will do. What did that even... Oh, they're all going to the coast. Okay. Cool. And it takes time to do that, I guess. Alright, they've explored the coast. I guess I can't really be a part of this action. I just get to read about it. The sun is setting and we need to get a fire going soon. Quickly there's... Oh, oh, quickly, there's some driftwood on the beach. Forage it, you will need it to make a fire. You find driftwood. Wood is another resource, just like food. You will need it to build structures in your camp. Sure. Sure, that's cool. Sure. Boom, boom, get that firewood. Boom, boom, bam. So glad this stuff only takes like three seconds. Yay! That is almost upon you. And with predators and possibly a freezing death, quickly make use of that driftwood and build a fire. You know how to make one, right? Make fire. You hurry to find some dry grass to use as tinder. What else will you need to make your fire? Um, stone. What kind of stone do you need? Flint, obviously. Why would I use chalk to start a fire? Chalk would just break off in dust. You find two flint stones. What do you do with them? Strike. Striking the stones together produces bright sparks of light. You think you can hear horrid growling sounds coming from the undergrowth. Hurry up! One more time. You try it one more time and, it spark <laughs> and the sparks hit the tinder. Smoke starts to rise. You devise a good way of making fire. I am caveman. You can build campfire. Campfire bu buildings unlock more buildings. <laughs> Great. That's cool. Oh, they all have to build a fire. Okay. Build it, build it, build it. Okay, cool. Oh, that was a cool effect. Sorry, I had to pop my wrist. While warming yourselves at the campfire, you notice a cave entrance not far from you. You find cave. <laughs> Who's cave? That's a ridiculous name. Continue your exploration of the island. Okay. The warming fire lifts the spirits of your survivors. Beyond the flickering light, the dark and gloomy island awaits. Okay. <laughs> Let's explore. Ooh. Oh, that's Cave. Hi, Cave. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cave. Ooh, that one was longer. Oh, this is the tutorial. It says skip up there at the top. Ooh, what else can we forge? Is that is that a fish? Fish pond. Aw. Maybe some stalactite. Dun, dun, dun. Go. Oh. That's weird. They didn't all go at once. 
Is it like the more people, the less time it takes? That would make sense. Continue exploring. Go, go, go. Oh, 16 out of 20. Ah. I'm starting to understand this. Okay. At the end of the cave, you notice a strange pile of sand. What do you do? Why would I kick it? There could be, like, a rock under there. Don't kick it. That would hurt. Dig through the sand pile when suddenly it starts to move. Underneath all that sand lives a fellow shipwreck survivor. Oh, I thought that was my character, like, sinking into the sand. <laughs> Oliver joins you. What was he doing under the pile of sand? I mean, come on. Everyone knows that's not how you survive. Oliver was thrown off deck in the storm. Oh, so he was part of our crew. Okay. He was washed ashore, then crawled into the cave to take shelter. No, uh, 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 uh. He was under a pile of sand. That's different. <laughs> Next thing he remembers is hearing your footsteps echoing through the cave. Survivors are your main way to get things done. More survivors means faster progress. See? I knew it. I'm smart. Oliver recalls he was not alone. His friend Adam passed out after they arrived, but he couldn't get him to wake up. Will you help Oliver re revive Adam? Sure. Oh. What's up, Adam? Nice, um, bracelets. <laughs> the character has been wounded and has to rest. We can spend up healing with- Oh, you can speed up healing with gems. Or I could watch a video. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you guys. Continue with your exploration. All right. Oh, what is over here? Go, Oliver. Go, Robert. Go, Mary. Go, Jenny. Oh, it's out of a hundred. Jeez. Speed up exploring with some gems. Uh, how about no? That seems like a waste to me. Go, Oliver. Oh crap. <laughs> Tinker Island. Try to stay alive and explore the island until you find a way to get home. So is that the end of the tutorial? Tinker Island needs to save your game and some other files to your storage to work properly. Please allow this in the next step. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, how about you guys do this? Yeah. Because I, I want that stalactite. Just to see what it can do for me. Ah, oh, come on, man. Alright. Oh, I, they all have to be doing something, I guess. You three, go do that. Alright, and then I want to see what that pond is about. Maybe I can get some more food. Because I don't have any food. Yeah, go explore that. Are you guys done? Oh, okay. Your party of survivors continues to explore even when night begins to fall. Shadows grow taller and taller, and you have more and more trouble crossing the terrain. Make camp. You feel you have to give up and make a camp. It's actually, that was my only option, so. You feel like I have to give up and make a camp. As you gather the wood for a fire, you catch a glimpse of bloody red eyes moving in the dusk. No one seems to notice them. But I noticed them. I'm someone. <laughs> My mom told me I was special. Um, let's warn them, obviously. You warn the others of the danger lurking. You all start paying more attention to your surroundings. Good call. Why would I stay silent about that? If that was me in real life, I would have been just like, Hey guys, look over there, they're spooky. Continue. <laughs> the night has finally settled, and you all crowd around the campfire. This is giving me Lord of the Flies flashbacks. I want to read that now. Then something attacks. A survivor is grabbed and dragged away. Quickly, do something. Um, make noise. You make a terrible racket to scare the assailant away. It works. The survivor is released. Whatever attacked you runs off into the woods. Yeah. The survivors praise your quick thinking. You are a hero to them. They will be much more willing to follow you. Survivors get plus one search. <laughs> okay. Tip. Survivors have four skills. Explore. Oh, explore. Okay. Forage, which is a high five. Build, which is some weird hammer thing. And fight, which is 
Obviously, corn on the top. Okay. Skills tell you how good a survivor is at a specific activity. Always use the best survivor. Oh, sorry, my throat is going out. Always use the best survivors for the job. Got it. That one was long. Jeez. Okay, so you're good at foraging, so you can search that pond. You're good at exploring, so you can go do that. Foraging. And you suck at almost everything except for building. So you can do that. <laughs> cool. I like this. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, I got some food. Whoop. All right, so now all we have to do left is explore the map, I guess. One of the most important things in a survival situation is a source of fresh water. For now, you will have to be content with a simple rainwater tank. You can build a rainwater tank. Why does it say it like that? That makes me sound like a infantile. A steady source of fresh water will have an immediate effect on your survivors. Building the rainwater tank will upgrade all the skills of your survivors by plus one. You can find it in the build menu. Great. Where's my build menu, man? Um, is this the build menu? Mm, obviously not. Is this the build menu? Okay, there we go. Okay, you're good at building, and you're awesome at building. Um, you're better at building than exploring. And you suck at both of those things. So, uh, all of you can go do that. I don't really care. I don't really care, man. How's this guy doing? Ooh, Alfred. Why do I have to give him so much of my food? I don't even have that much. Oh, that was fast. And again. Actually, wait. Mm, yeah, you go. You go. And I'll have you explore. Just because I want to get that ridge out of the way. Explore map to find resources and explore the map. Okay, see, I have to keep exploring for that. Um, that's almost finished. So you guys go explore. Uh, you explore and you build, and then we can get the rain water bucket thingy. I forgot what it's called. Um, uh, again, this is fun. I like this. Oh, oh, I found an apple. Oh, you're awesome at forging. You can get that apple for me, please. And ooh, that's nice. What is that? Water cistern. Ooh. You can build that? You can't work yet. Can I, let me see. Oh. Oh, dang. I need a lot of stuff. Um, you explore. You're not good at foraging, so you explore. You forge. Cool. Awesome. Oh, look, it's right there by my campfire. That's so cool. What happens if I get... Ooh, I found sticks. This is... This is awesome. I love this. A survivor picks up an unripe apple and eats it. After a while, you hear complaints about stomach ache. Your survivor gets minus 10 hearts. Just great, 10 hearts. I want to let me click that. Oh, just great. <laughs> Alright. In the top left corner of the survivor cards is the health bar. It re represents the good health of your survivors. Accidents, poisoning, sickness, and fighting can lower it. If health drops below zero, the survivor becomes bedridden and must rest in the survivor's menu. You must wait for the survivor to get better or you can speed up the healing using gems. Okay. Okay, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver the gardener. Anybody else see the slight irony in that? He's, he's so close. Just take off the R, and then take off that ER, and then he's Olive Garden. I love it. You explore, you explore. Cool. I want those apples, man. And not the unripe ones that hurt my fellow peeps. I want those good juicy apples. Mm -hmm. Ooh, was that a rock? Oh, I can use that and then get supplies to build this cistern. You find the rest of those apples, and uh, you explore, you explore, all of you guys explore. Okay. Awesome. Then I can get that, there was a twig or something over there. Oh. Twigs. Uh, rope roots. Oh, everything's happening so fast. 
Look, a package has been washed ashore. Maybe there is something useful inside. The package lets you watch an ad and rewards you with free gems. Tap package to get gems. Girl. <laughs> you have so much stuff. Let's build a hammock to rest your weary legs. You will be able to carry much more after that. Okay. You can build hammock. The hammock is a house building. This type of building expands your resource, ca resource cap, which allows you to build and explore new stuff. Cool. Expanding your resource cap is important for the progress in the game, so try to prioritize this type of building. Will do. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here, but I'm definitely doing more of this. I am in love with this game. I don't know if I can keep off doing this off camera though, it's pretty fun. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!